Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins. Previously I decided that we should be building a space station and it occurs to me that I would like to do so with a space shuttle but I don't think we have all the technology necessary to make a space shuttle. Actually I don't know if it's even possible to make a space shuttle in the game properly. At least with the SRBs not being able to gimbal I don't think we could use SRBs. We'd have to use the liquid boosters and then we can't separate out the oxygen and the hydrogen, and that's important on the external tank of the space shuttle if I'm going for, you know, realistic uh, simulation of the STS space shuttle. Uh, the oxygen has to be on top to maintain the balance in the stack, and we can't really separate out the oxygen and the hydrogen in the tanks, I believe. So, we can't make an exact space shuttle, I don't think. Um, we could have sort of a dummy load in the top, that's what I do in stock Kerbal Space Program, and so I'll probably do that here. And then we have to have liquid boosters to get the gimbling. Uh, we certainly need the cargo bay. I think we might as well unlock that as our next tech. Because we can't even make a sort of weird space shuttle without one of those, and we can't build the space station without one of those, uh, if we're going to use a sp space shuttle to build the space station. And... We, we might want bigger wings, because a wing cord of 2 meters is really going to be limiting, and a span of 10 meters. In fact, even a wing cord of 5 meters, or 12.5 meters, could be limiting in this case, for a space shuttle wing. But this says requires around the world, oh, well, that's there. Uh, but we also have to worry about other things. We don't really have a cabin that suits a space shuttle, I don't think. And I don't know if there is one. There's all sorts of solar panel materials. There's a... They're bigger landing gear. There's a, a TARDIS for wheels, which I sure don't want. The TARDIS is not very reliable. Anyway, uh, airplane landing gear we've got here. That's a two-wheel one. And then there's an increase in landing gear size. But there's a lot of solar panel stuff. Which we will need for the station, though. That's maybe more important than anything else right now, actually. Because even our first one, first module, will probably want that. So maybe we should get that first. And maybe we'll launch the first module with our Titan instead. Or I should make a Proton equivalent, perhaps. Uh, so yeah, but airplane landing gear is definitely necessary. And... The larger wings. So we're a little bit tight. We're like five tech points away from being able to unlock both. So we need to find some way of getting tech points. Basically. Because now our needs have... Have grown. I think I'll get the solo ray first and then look at the wing. So we'll do that. Okay, so we need five more to get the wing at least. Ocean delivery. Well, that's not gonna get us the tech points. Lunar landing. We could do a lunar lunar landing with a druid, and that might work out. That might get us the extra points if I remember to put a heat shield this time. Uh, start grounded. Okay, doesn't say anything in particular. All right, so we're going to go get some science in order to build our space shuttle so that we can build a space station. Well, we probably need some other things for the station as well. We might want the bigger solar panels. So I'm just gonna modify this. We just gotta come back in this. We'll have a direct descent and then return, I think. That's too big. I don't like this kind of array though, but we can change the Okay, one, uh, three rows only? Okay, but one column will do. Okay, well... Probably good enough for now. I don't- again, I don't think the druids take any special power, so... I'm definitely gonna tuck the engine in a bit. Well, that's a nice firm stance, I think. 
I'm upping the RCS power. We do have the gyro in here. Maybe I should change that though. I guess not. We'll put a separate mop found tank. We'll put RCS and we'll dump the gyro. Oh, we've got some RCS on there. I don't feel safe about it, to be honest, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll have 5% gyro power. Now, I hate the color clashing here. Okay, that's better. I feel like having the landing legs stick out is dangerous, though. I don't know if tucking them in like this is a good idea or not. But it's not like that. I don't... Uh, we just need an inner stage. We don't need the fairing anymore. Because the soul panels are presumably protected in these things. Well... We'll add some RCS on here too. We'll just put it the roll inefficient way. Okay, well, that is a moon mission. Do I have a druid in there or not? That was supposed to be a personnel panel. Okay, Sally Ride. Really? Well, uh, apparently we've still got Yuri here. I, I was supposed to have killed Yuri, they said. But apparently, since I'm just modifying this craft, I still get Yuri. No, it says deceased here. So why did you have them in here? Oh well. Maybe he wouldn't have been deceased if I kept him in there. Or maybe he would just be dead in there. Hmm. Very grisly. We only have two... Well, I guess we can hire. I don't want to... They all sound boring. <laughs> Blaze McKee, yes. That, that is a person who doesn't sound boring. Okay, Blaze McKee. Alright, Blaze McKee will be in space capsule number 99. I don't know how I got to 99, but... Alright. Blaze McKee, there's a name for you. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll try to go to the moon with this. It's not reading the right Delta V figures. 2.21, the starting thrust weight ratio is barely moonworthy. And then, but this stage has to get us all the way back. But hopefully this stage is going to help us with descent a little bit. But maybe not. Maybe we need more, you know what, let's just put more boosters. 2.07, yeah. That's too short. Um, for, we'll make these smaller, I think. It'd be better to make a larger body, but I'm going with four boosters this time. He'll be a Titan 5 like this, I think. Boy, that doesn't seem like the right Delta V. Doesn't really read that we increased our Delta V that much, but... Our starting thrust weight ratio sure has gone up. Should be interesting. Titan 5. I just turn off RCS initially. Activate on start, definitely not. Okay. All right, let's try this with Blaze McKee. Our music, <laughs> the music is so unatmospheric. It's atmospheric music, but it's not the right atmosphere. All right. Uh, let's go. There's no timing thing for Luna. Oh, do I have uh, stabilization on? Now I do. <laughs> I didn't have stabilization on initially. Well, we need to flatten out quickly here. Alright, hot staging. Okay, booster set. Not a lot. Already a hundred kilometer apoapsis. Okay. Oh, let's pseudo the orbit this stage. We've got only 128 left in it. 54 kilometers. Should deorbit. 
All right. Separation. And a little bit boost forward. Oh. Completed tier two of astronaut wings by exceeding three. Did we... Uh, did we have three druids altogether? I thought... We had killed... Yuri, and then th that's it, right? <laughs> uh, we I thought we had only gotten one. Now, this is the third one? I don't know. I, I've, I must have forgotten somebody somewhere. We didn't bring Yuri back safely. Maybe we brought... I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I'll trust it. I'll trust it to keep track of that sort of thing. Oh, impact. We're making an impact. That should be fine. Looks good to me. And that's 1.32 kilometers per second. This has 2.42, so yeah, I should be able to capture and then start us off on our descent. No, we are already down to 96% of our mob propellant after turning like that. I, I hope it's just draining from the bottom tanks, but I have a suspicion it's draining from all of them evenly. Previously it hadn't, but my most recent experience with the RCS seemed to have it draining from all the tanks evenly. Maybe there's some setting I'm missing. Okay, well that should be close enough. It's not showing me the encounter there. Oh, we've got a strike. Okay, there we go. All safe. And on we go. This is Luna, right? <laughs> I always mess up with the moons, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Luna. Okay, Luna flybys exceeding five. We've only done five, huh? No special thing for a druid in Luna space, though. Apollo 8 would be shocked. Should we visit the pole? It seems a little bit of a stretch. We'll try and make a loose orbit to do that, but that could cause problems coming back, too. Okay. Alright, so up there we can tilt our orbit to try and hit the pole. But yeah, I hate coming back from polar orbits. 104 is not too bad. I was seeing whether I could disable the gyro, but I can't. You can EVA blaze. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk that on the surface of the moon just yet, because I don't know if I can get blaze back into the pod. We'll examine that some other time. Okay, uh, so let me just turn it with RCS. I mean, it'll probably have some gyro power too. I'm still using the RCS, darn it. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see. Well, it moved on a bit, but we'll figure that out once we get closer. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> it's moved on quite a bit, but we can build that into our orbit reducing burn. It is costing a bit extra. Looks like it's a crater there. I think we'll take that for now. Okay, getting closer. Pretty close to Luna already. Okay. Retro. RCS on. This is when we absolutely need the RCS. Okay, slowing down. I want surface. We probably want to target that. Luna base, huh? Okay, that's that stage. Well, we can see the Luna base. Okay, landing legs. Well, it makes sense our druid would be landing at the Luna base. Seems like maybe we didn't use the mob propellant on this bit. 
Yeah, very limited thrust to weight ratio with this. But it should be enough. I don't see the special points bubble around the base though. Am I really gonna get extra tech points for landing at it? Is there a landing pad? Okay, landing pad. Why does it seem like we're askew? Um, I'm running out of my mob propellant. Well, that's why we have dry gyros, I guess. Um, are we on the edge? I feel like we're on the edge. Oop. Oh gosh! No, I did it! Ah, oh, I tried to be too fancy. Gosh darn it. Okay. We, uh, but we didn't get any extra tech points for landing here. No! Come on. We're out of mod propellant, too. You can't want me to land directly at that thing, do you? Like, 10 meters? Well, we've stranded our druid at the Luna base, but the more important thing is we didn't get any tech points out of- Well, we didn't get tech points out of landing here. We did get some tech points along the way. We'll have to pick up the druid here. We have enough Delta V to get back into orbit and get back home. It's just that we're sideways. <laughs> uh... If we could retract the landing legs, we'd have a chance. Oh no. It exploded everything. I just wanted the legs destroyed. I, the legs shouldn't have any explosiveness. Oh, look at what I've done. I'll get rid of that too. Alright, well, there goes... What's his name? Anyway. Let's go to the tech tree and see what we can unlock now. Alright, well... Darn it. Trying to land on the pad that didn't even give me tech points. Did I land there before? I, don't, I didn't land there before, so... Right? Right? Airplane landing gear sounds important. We don't have enough for that and... The larger wings, though, so we'll go with the larger wings first. But 35 tech points. Landing there should definitely have given us 35 tech points. We fulfilled the mission, though. Let me try and refresh contracts here. Pilot license. Really? After all this? Let me cancel the short route one. That's a progression one. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna set about seeing what kind of a shuttle we can make with the parts that we have, and we'll test it in the next video. I'm going to orient this first as an airplane, and we'll test it as an airplane first, and then slap on whatever external tanks and boosters we need. And uh, we'll probably go with this form factor. It says two meters. We probably need it, considering I want a crewed shuttle. And we'll have a nose cone. Uh, well, apparently it wants to go in this direction. I hope this is right. That seems to be forward. Okay. And... Um, let's see. We have a crew compartment part. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But, okay. Crew compartment. Um, cockpit. Maybe we should have a cockpit on top like that. I mean, I feel bad about not having windows. Well, not like that. So, at least some form of windows is probably a good idea. So, it'll look like a fighter cockpit, even though I don't really want that, but uh, it's a start. There's a space habitat. That's probably something we have to launch. We have to expect to launch a space habitat like that in our shuttle. So, this is obviously not big enough. Now, 
that causes problems for the cockpit look. But I get the strange feeling that I'm not gonna get exactly the look that I want. No, no. I mean, pinch might be good on the bottom. Slant is definitely not one. They give me all the tools that I don't want. Corner radius is not generally how I think of this. I want the curvature to be different. We'll leave the nose cone there and then a tank that is conical might be just a better deal. We'll make it pointy. It'll look better than what this is going to do. Capacity 10. I don't need capacity 10. That's probably overdoing it. But then again, we have to fit this. Maybe we'll have a fuel tank that increases the diameter further. Why does no angle that I want to place this in now actually work properly? Let's see. Um, let's just get another one. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> Uh, come on. And now the cockpit is the opposite way around. That's forward still, cockpit. It's- look at- it, this sort of goes on askew in a super weird way. I don't know what to do about that. Angle 180. That sure doesn't look like any angle that I need it to go on. I don't know. Okay, maybe we'll leave off the cockpit for now. Let's just... They won't have windows. They won't have windows. It's just too frustrating. It's probably overdoing the size a bit, though. No! Oh, gosh. Um, how do I tell what the this container can do? Capacity 9. Let's not have capacity 9. Let's have capacity 2. 4. How? Okay, 0. Alright, that makes sense. One person can fit in that one? I don't know. Or Druid. Two. Okay, so let's say we're going with two. And then the cargo bay. This will be a very limited sort of thing, but... At least it's a start. Let's say like that. That'll keep it simple. It's sort of like a Skylon sort of setup. Now, what was the mass of this? 649 kilograms. Mass of that, 183. Let me jot this down. Because I want the stuff in the back to be just about the same. We'll probably have some mob propellant and then we'll be able to shift the mob propellant in the back as necessary. Okay. So, we're looking for an engine or set of engines. That's basically one ton. Burn time, nine seconds. That's the ticket. No, that's three tons. I just want one ton. It says a uh, huge starting thrust to weight ratio, but uh, we'll have the external tank feeding it for a while. And it'll just be one engine, 560 kilonewtons, pretty good ISP in vacuum at sea level. It's okay. It's not bad. So, this is the basis of our shuttle here. I don't know if we can create a flat bottom out of this. Doesn't look great, but sort of... Okay, that gives us sort of a flat bottom feel, though we can't put the heat shielding on there like that. Let me save this. Shuttle 1. I think maybe we should size the engine down a little bit. We'll probably have an OMS system on it as well. And stuff like that. So there'll be more mass in the back to counterbalance the mass in the front. And we don't need it perfectly balanced like that around the center of the cargo bay. Right now it's definitely not perfectly balanced and... I actually don't know exactly why. Because I did the mass of the that compartment, the controller, and that, and I thought that one ton would do it. So there's a fuel tank here. Oh, maybe th this fuel tank doesn't go all the way through. It's only this fuel tank right now. Or maybe we'll have to just do fuel line through the cargo bay. Let's see. 
Okay, I think it's... Uh, we've got double the delta V. Okay, well now our center of mass is up here. Um, I'll have to shape the wing a little bit differently. Okay. I mean, we're doing it differently than the standard STS space shuttle like this. But that's unavoidable, given what we have available to us. So yeah, as the fuel drains here and here, it ends up having the center mass in the same place, which is what I wanted. So yeah, we'll have a different wing compared to the STS space shuttle. Honestly, this doesn't need much by way of an external tank as it is right now. Maybe a little bit of boosterage, but not a whole lot of external tank. We could probably sling the boosters on top of the wing, potentially. And so we'll have them alongside here, and that makes things a little bit more simpler as far as control is concerned, and gimbling. However, they might, like, destroy the wing when they separate. It depends how cleanly they separate. Um, yeah, this is probably too much engine for what we're going to end up having. I could try to make an SSTO, but I was looking for a shuttle. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to that. We only have the small landing gear, though. We could add, uh, we could make the this engine smaller and add some jet engines. The flaw of this is that the pitch control surfaces are a little bit closer to the center mass than I would like. But okay, I mean, so far it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, we could probably test fly it without any jets. It's certainly got enough thrust to weight ratio. We'll throttle down, we've got infinite throttle. Um, so yeah, this will be Shuttle 1, and we'll see what we can do with it. Now we haven't put a cargo in there, so it'll have less thrust weight ratio like that. But probably the cargo's not too heavy. The space ha that space habitat, that's two tons it says there. But here, yeah, it's only two tons for being that big. That's huge for two tons. Capacity five. Boy. I'm sure they would have loved that for the ISS if they could get it that light. But anyway, yes, we will proceed with this and see what we can do. At the very least, it might be an interesting small sat launcher too. We could have a little uh, bus that carries the small sats to their correct orbit, and then this can come back home. All sorts of things can happen, or this could blow up immediately. We will find out in the next episode what the fate of Shuttle 1 and whether this works or whether I need to adjust the design. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.